Okay guys, so this is the house. This is the front door. When you open, Crunch, oops, berries, but with almond milk because somebody drank all the milk. I did not. I just yeah, you used did. it in cereal. No, you drank all the milk. I didn't drink milk. it. I just used it in cereal. Well, you used it all. Yeah, I did, but we didn't get like a huge thing of milk. It was like this. No, big. but you kept eating all my Captain Crunch. Maybe you shouldn't have bought three boxes of Captain Crunch. They were three boxes for five dollars. I know. Nobody needs that much Captain Crunch. Yeah, I do. No. I love Captain Crunch. So we have to start cooking up the house today. Mm -hmm. So we have to um, eat our breakfast, but then we got to go get boxes from like all these places. I guess we could start packing up like clothes and stuff, like the closet, because that stuff we don't even really use anyway. It's in yeah. the closet, and we never really go in the closet. So probably just clothes and stuff, and. I guess that's a good place to start. And then we can pack up like blankets and stuff. Hey, you seem like you're feeling a little yeah. better today. Uh, I guess I feel okay, but <laughs> I still feel like shit. Uh, like laying down and putting my head. It's your sinuses. We're in Walgreens right now because we're looking at all of this medicine for this one whose nose is all plugged and has sinus headaches. I'm thinking like this sinus but then also check out all of these nasal sprays Ooh, this one's cordless and it pulsates why do you need a pulsating one though no i mean i'm just curious like why do you need a pulsating one? moisturizes nasal passages and helps clear congestion oh airborne mm -hmm. ricola i like the ricola they're my favorite i always liked the natural herb cough drops that one the original and then the honey herb is really good too <clears throat> i think we should get you the sinus stuff do you want the day and night ones like is that what you want yeah sometimes if i sniff too hard it really hurts like it's almost like a brain freeze you know how you get a brain freeze you just have to wait for it to go away really yeah, you get like that sometimes and it's like through here yeah your sinus is coming out here yeah and, go up. and i got um nasal mist too what? What's this for? Yeah. You put it up your nose. It moisturizes your nose passages, so that way, I, re I was reading this stuff. Okay. He doesn't even care. He's like, whatever. It's like eight bucks. I'm gonna use this nasal spray stuff, directions. To moisturize, insert nozzle into nostril, and press the act actuator to deliver the desired amount of saline. Okay, wait, I just stick it up my nose, and then spray. You're probably supposed to, okay, put it outside. No, no, cap, use the cap. How am I supposed to do that now? Wait, it's not working. Yeah, pump it through time to hang. Yeah, you can freaking Yeah, it snorts when you do it. That was scary. You have to snort when you do it. Okay. I'm scared now. Up your nostril. Not big. Don't push it down the whole way, maybe. Like just do half a spray. I don't know how to do just half a spray. I'm so scared now. <laughs> oh God, I feel bad. Okay, we're actually. Getting, we're in. We're in. There you go. Okay, we're at like this like liquor place. It's like like there's tons of them in Vegas, obviously. She's gonna run and get or ask them if they have boxes and stuff because I'm pretty sure you have to be 21 to go in there and I'm not 21 yet. Oh, we'll see what the answer is. Hey guys, check uh, it out. Well, technically, look at all these we boxes. spend money in gas getting here. So. Okay, but look at all these boxes we got. Look, it's like huge amounts of boxes. So many that we had to fold the seats back. Tons of boxes. We got boxes up the kazoo in this car. So we found these boxes on Craigslist, and it was in the free section. And it was like, okay, there's boxes outside my house. Please don't ring the doorbell. Just come pick them up if you want them. And he posted it like an hour ago. And so we're like, okay, we took all of their boxes, which was great because yeah, a ton of boxes and so now we don't have to worry about it anymore. I guess I'm just worried about 
tape. Like we might need more tape, but we can stop at like Target and get like packing tape. Successful day so far, hooray! So if you need boxes and you're moving soon, check with all your grocery stores. Unfortunately, we um, were like a day late trying to get all these boxes from the grocery stores because every store we went to, it was like, oh, you, you missed our shipment by one day or something like that. And they already had broken down all their boxes and gotten rid of them. But then also we found all of these boxes off of Craigslist. So go in the for sale and free section and most of the time you'll be able to find boxes just fine. That's what we did and we never, we're not gonna have to buy any boxes because of this, which is good. Pretty good, huh? So now we're just gonna run I'm gonna check the P.O. box because we haven't done that in a really long time. And we're going to run to Target and get packing tape. Do we? We have a Sharpie. Should we get more? Like two Sharpies? Okay, so we're gonna get packing tape and Sharpies at Target. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty successful day so far. Yep. Yay! You guys, we got two more letters today. One from... Ashley from North Carolina and Mercedes. 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 I'm Mercedes. Mercedes. Oh, Mercedes, like the car. Mercedes. <laughs> I feel so bad now. Oh, Mercedes, like the car. I've been watching your videos for almost two years now. In the fall, I will go to cosmetology school. That's awesome. I think YouTube has helped me find my love for beauty and hair. We'll soon be approaching our year anniversary. Do you, uh, do you have any ideas for gifts? I hope to hear from you soon, Mercedes and Ryan. Oh, that's so nice. There's a picture in here too. Look. You're so beautiful. I love your cap and gown. I love the color. Ours were blue. But I like the yellow. The yellow's really pretty. Year anniversary gifts. Oh. You were in basic. Probably, yeah. You oh, were in yeah. basic for our first anniversary. I remember, because you left on our 11 month anniversary. Yep. That's crazy. I was kind of lame. I remember when Blake graduated from basic, I got him cologne. Oh, I yeah. really wanted to get him a watch, and there was a beautiful one from Etsy that I really wanted. But everybody talked me out of the watch, because they were like, well, there's cell phones. You don't need a watch anymore. And then he graduates, and in his blues, and he's like, you know what I want? A watch. a watch. Write him a letter. Write him a letter. Write him a really nice poem or give him something that's meaningful. But everybody has different meaningful things that they would give. So that's why it's so different. Don't give him a sweater or anything like that. No it's sweaters? Just... Well, okay, he says not to get a sweater, <laughs> so I guess there's that. <laughs> Hello, lovely cults. Since the plan is to send y'all, yes, we say y'all, postcards from our travels, I thought I'd send you one of where we live. I present historic downtown Wilmington. Sometimes when talking to my fiance, Kyle, I will talk about you and Blake, as if you are my real life friends. Aw, for example, Katie made this awesome steak and she literally stood there basting it in butter. <laughs> it looked amazing and it's quite ridiculous. It was amazing. It's really good. I was there. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you so much, Ashley. This was awesome. All right, guys, so look, this is the huge pile of boxes we got. Our plan for right now, Puppy's like in her crate, which is why she's whining, but we're gonna like just set up a little spot right here. We're gonna put all these boxes together and we're gonna start putting stuff in it. So I think today, right now we're gonna focus, we can pretty much put everything in boxes right now, I think, but I wanna focus on like non-essentials right now. So pretty much everything on the bar right here is pretty much non-essential. Like it always, it, crap just like ends up there. Pretty sure these candles are dead, except for this one. This one's good. Pretty sure we could put most of our dishes away and like the stuff up here, like tea and stuff, and then pots and pans, and then like junk drawer stuff. Everybody has a junk drawer, right? Like this is our junk drawer. Like real thick. Brings back my care package days when you were in tech school. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tape up all the corners. Look, it's our first box. Oh great. Ta -da! Probably needs to be taped a little bit better than that. Okay, I'll tape it better. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Last bone in the Come new house or in the old house. Good girl. No. Dad, I need it, please. I'll just go down. Good girl. Okay, roll over. Roll over. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, high five. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, and shake. Good girl. 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 Good
Or you want it so bad, don't you? Yes, you please. It so bad. I need it. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just <laughs> gonna. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna take this. Yeah, bye. Like, like, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. So this is the state of our apartment right now. I have. Pretty much my whole desk packed up and it's in this box. And this is really cool because all this stuff is gonna go into like filming room when we move. So like all of this really fun stuff. Pretty excited about that. Pantry is being cleaned. Oh cool, toys are gonna go in here. Toys, like do hers. dog toys? Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. We cleaned out all of the cabinets. So those are all like clean. This. Oh, that's a good place to start. All of this can probably go in the pantry box. Yeah, not in the pantry box. <laughs> no, not in the pantry not box. Not all of it. Uh, you're probably right. Maybe. Well, we can get another box too. We're doing dishes now, so we're going to pack up even like as many dishes as we can. They're going in here. We're actually using like some of Blake's clothes as cushioning. We use paper, but you know, just in case. I don't want our dishes to be breaking. She got <laughs> she got some peanut butter, and I know it looks like a lot of peanut butter, but this was actually like an older peanut butter jar that had almost none of it left, and we used it all until like like stuffed it in her. Kong, and then this is just what's left over in the jar, which is not very much at all. So she's a happy dog. She's like, I got peanut butter. I'm entertained while mom and dad pack. But I actually started filming because I wanted to show you guys something really cool. I'm in the closet right now, and what? Okay. He said, No more buying almond milk. Okay. These are our yearbooks, which are freaking like huge. Every time we show somebody our yearbooks, they're like amazed at how big they are. This was like freshman year. It's pretty cool. This is all like yearbook stuff. And yeah, this is senior year. So we have like senior pictures here. So these are all the people that we graduated with. But you guys are going to see Blake and he had long hair. <gasps> ah, that was Blake senior year. Look at, ah, oh, so funny. <laughs> Look at his long hair. I was blonde then. Like blonder. That was me. Freaking massive. After seven years of dating, Great Britain's Prince William and Kate Middleton set an April 29th, 2011 wedding date. And it's home. So cool. This was our big pile of boxes. And this is what we have right now. This is our box full of kitchen stuff. That is a box full of like electronic stuff from when Blake built his computer. This, oh, this also looks like electronic stuff. Oh, uh, it's the crafting shit or whatever. Like the yeah. Cable, I just threw the cable in there. Okay, that's fine. So this is like craft stuff, and then everything that was on top of the bar. What's that? I labeled it. What does that say? Tea and spices. Good job. So this is tea and spices. So we can use this green crock tape for labels. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then we can actually determine what we wrote and what the people before us wrote, because apparently... I don't know what was extremely fragile, but apparently pantry and silverware. Pantry's all cleaned out except for the essentials that we're gonna need for the next couple of days. Essentials, Cap'n Crunch. <laughs> this is all some bathroom and all of my desk stuff is in there. This is our big pile of boxes that still need to be. We're not even gonna use all of these. No, I freaking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, all of those lights are out. We haven't really worked on the bathroom yet at all, so we have like all this bathroom stuff, except I did take out, um, down there we had, um, what is it called? Hair dryer and curling iron and stuff like that, and I took all that out. We're gonna run to the store actually, because when we were cleaning out the pantry, where did you put the dips? Dip, dip, potato chip, they're in there. So in this box is pantry stuff, but we also found these dips that we wanted to make. So we need one cup sour cream, half cup mayo. Okay, we need mayo and we need sour cream. Do we have popcorn? We have one thing of popcorn. Okay, because what I could do is we could just get like a chocolate bar and I could melt it and then I could drizzle chocolate over the popcorn and like mix it up and it would be like... Yeah, no, it's really good. It's a chocolate bar, but if you want, okay, my... Gyros, gyros. Is this... Euro? I wonder if this is like the is original. Like or no, I think Oreos? no Oreos are a knockoff. Of, what? Yeah, you didn't what? know that. No, yeah. I didn't know that. These might be the ones that the Oreos are knockoffs of. I don't know. So I realized I didn't actually show you guys what I made with the popcorn and the chocolate, but this is how it turned out, and it's actually very, very good. I just melted some chocolate and made some popcorn and mixed it all together and stick it in the fridge, and now it's really good. Hey Blake, you should try this. It's yummy. It's better now that it's been like the chocolate's been like hardened a little bit. 
Why do you smell everything? I can't smell anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's better now that it's cold. What do you think? Well, yeah, it's a little bit hard and they're all kind of stuck together, but what do you think? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Sure. Sure. We're going to work on the packing a little bit more today. Well, obviously, I, I definitely want to get pretty much everything packed up today. I'm learning a little bit more about a game that I want to try called The Forest, which looks pretty good, but I'm probably not going to get that until we're into the new place. But it's like, it's like a horror survival type game. And I'm not really one that's into like super scary movies, but if I'm playing the game and interactive with it, I like those kind of games, so. So, look at all the boxes we got, you guys. These ones are all packed. We have towels out just in case we need them. And then there's these that are all packed back here. These are the lights. These are empty. Oh, this one's not. There's stuff in that one. Hey, Blake, what's in this one? Yeah. Closet stuff. And blue stuff. Okay. <laughs> We're watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. You love it though. Blake is actually very much into this show. Because there's hot chicks on it. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, this is what everything looks like right now. We're on to season two of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. That's how much we've watched today. Um, so, we have this stuff over here that is all packed up and ready to go, kind of. Those are like our clothes and stuff, but whatever. This is pretty much everything that we own. This is what my desk area looks like right now. We took apart the desk and took the glass off the top, so now they're just like frames, pretty much. There's like nothing here. This is what the bathroom looks like. Pretty empty. I took everything out of here, and like all of the cabinets and stuff are totally empty, except for like plunger and stuff like that, but we'll get that stuff later. Um, this is all empty and really, really gross. We'll clean it when we're like back in here, but we left basically shampoo and like face wash and stuff because we're gonna shower tonight. This is the closet. Look at it, it's totally empty. It was insane before. Bedroom looks pretty much the same, but I think we all know that the bedroom was always really pretty empty. Blake's guitars and amps and stuff are still there. His desk is still there, bed stuff is still here. So when we come out, this is what we see. This is like boxes of stuff that we still have to take. <laughs> Disaster over there. This stuff is in the midst of being put in a box. And then we're pretty much back to where we started. So, we're gonna watch Game of Thrones, we're gonna go to bed, and we're gonna show you guys the new place tomorrow morning. Good morning. We just got out of the grocery store. We're eating a very quick dinner, because our dinner, breakfast, because, oops, nice. I'm dropping everything. All of our dishes and everything are all packed up, so we don't have any like way to eat breakfast this morning so we just went to the store and we got like some berries and some yogurt this is mine and this is Blake's and he got strawberry we got some berries and we're just gonna eat this before our move-in inspection which is actually in just a few minutes well not like a few minutes but pretty soon so we have to eat this pretty speedily and then we're gonna get going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay guys so this is the house this is the front door when you open this is what you see Straight ahead are the stairs upstairs. To the left is the kitchen. To the right is like dining and living area. So I'm gonna go in the corner of the kitchen and show you from that view. So, very corner, this is what we see. I'm really excited about this kitchen. There's so much more space. We have gas oven, or gas, um, what is it called? Gas burners. So nice big open area person, like keys and stuff like that are right there. We have this nice big open area for like TVs and stuff or a couch or I'm not really sure how we're gonna do all of this, but a little chandelier that's kind of funky, whatever. Then down here is the hallway. Here's Blake. We have a bathroom right here. It's just a small like toilet with a sink. Blake's checking out the electricity stuff. This is just storage <laughs> closet. There's like 14, nothing. 16 question mark, question mark. I don't know what these are. <laughs> In here is the, oh, how do I turn on? Oops light we got washer and dryer in here so washer and dryer little storage up there then through here is our garage which i'm really excited to have the garage is open right now so look at this nice big garage this will be great we have like a table and stuff cones a lid but no garbage can so there's that this is to the backyard i'll show you that in just a second 
And then this is the stairs. Getting our bed up this is gonna be, it's gonna be a trip. <laughs> so this is how the stairs are. This won't be too bad. No, it's just, it just turns like yeah. almost an entire this, square. But the, the, the bed moves at least. That's true. And we're not taking like the couch upstairs, which is good. This is the upstairs part and those ceilings are really, really high. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm sorry. I'm just showing everybody how it all looks. So when you get up the stairs, you get, this is what it looks like. To the right, we have a bathroom okay. with a tub, which is good. Straight ahead, this is one smaller bedroom. It looks like, yes, yes, yes. Then we have a closet right here. No, we don't. This is where the water heater is. <laughs> this is the other bedroom. Room. What? This little flat thing. Kind I of know, but I didn't really care about that. So, this is the other bedroom. I think this is where I want to film, possibly, but I'm not positive yet. And then, this is the master bedroom. I can get in. It's really hot in here because it's like east facing. Okay, master bedroom. Um, let's see, from here. This is what it looks like in the corner. We also have like a closet right here. I didn't even look in this closet, my bad. This is, this is the master bath, light. We got two sinks, which is good, so we don't have to like, huh? A little holder. Oh, oh, well, it's okay. We have the toilet in here, which is kind of nice. It has its own little, like, um, door and everything. And then we have a shower. No tub, but we do have a shower, and it looks like a nice shower. So this is the backyard, and I want to get, like, trees or something so you can, like, live out here. Not live, but, you know, make it be bearable. This is what our backyard looks like. Which is big enough for Noel to run around, which is good. All right, we got the first load of boxes in the back. Woohoo! Okay, um, and Blake's friend uh, Skylar is gonna help us out too. Skyler. All right, guys. So I'm in the corner of the kitchen again. It's finally like cooled off around here. We have internet hooked up. Um, everything is going really, really smoothly. I have unpacked. These three boxes, which were pretty much just kitchen stuff, so like this is our kitchen. Um, the cups, we were drinking out of these, but check this out, ready? Our water pressure is pretty awful. Do you see how much it's filling up? Not okay. Nothing wrong with it though, it's just, it just takes forever to come out. Um, we got cups and bowls up here. Okay, these are like Tupperware cups, plates, bowls. And then over here we have glasses and like martini glasses. Over here I think is where our spices and coffee stuff is gonna go. And then I really wanna put like a coffee pot in the corner, but I guess we'll see. Blake and Skylar are getting more stuff in boxes that we need to get. And my phone charger, my phone's actually dead right now. The Cox guy was here for a long time. It was, okay, so the funny thing is, we qualified for, I guess because, I don't know why, but we, we wanted to move just our internet service. And we pay for a really significantly high speed internet because Blake games all the time, I work from home, I need fast internet that is like consistent most of the time. Sometimes it's not, but you know, most of the time it is. And so we pay for, it's like 70 bucks a month for like pretty decent internet. No, I think it was actually like 77 bucks a month or something like that. And uh, so we moved here and we're talking to the Cox guy on the internet trying to switch our um, plan over to this house and you know, not at the other house. And he basically was like, okay, well, I tell you what, I will waive the startup fee, which was like 60 bucks, like just to like, install everything so i will waive the installment fee if you get cox with tv and it'll be a dollar less a month than what you've been paying so we get the same high speed internet with tv that has we have like stars now and like decent channels especially like lo local channels and stuff but we got like a cable box and we're paying a dollar less than we would have been so that's pretty crazy. Set up the couch. Okay, camera's dying. Couch is going right here. I opened up all the windows so we can see the backyard. Noelle's stuff is over here. I'm gonna show you the rest when I can charge my camera and my phone. Yay! Oh, puppy, you have a whole backyard? 
Hey, do you want to go and see? If I can get out. There you go. Look at all this space for you. Sniff, 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 sniff. Hey, I know who that is. <laughs> she smells like dog. Yeah, not herself. She's she's like, I gotta sniff everything. I gotta sniff yeah, the whole world. Can't be disturbed right now. Can't be disturbed. I have to smell everything. I'm exploring. <laughs> I think you're gonna dig the backyard. <laughs> She's like, I just don't even know where to look. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> up the stairs. Up the stairs. This is the bathroom with the tub. You're gonna like that room. Oh boy, so many smells. So many smells. Hey, there's Skyler. <laughs> hey, um. Yeah. So I changed the address on our Geico thing, and our policy went down to 76 bucks. What? Yeah. So Seriously? Yeah, we're paying like 10 bucks less a month. Dang, I didn't know it would be like that. I wonder if I can, if I call him and tell him it's like a gated place, I wonder if they're lower age or You could call and ask. No. She was so sad when we left. So we just got back from dinner with Skylar. Um, we we tr treated him to dinner for helping us out today. And we, we left Noelle at home because obviously she can't come to dinner with us. And she, we put her in the crate, we covered the crate, and she was freaking out and it was oh, it just hurt your it heart like that since it hasn't been like that since we yeah since the very beginning or when we first moved into our apartment and we started crate training her it was it was really bad so she was totally terrified of being all alone but she did really really good so that's good and i'm really sorry this video is going up so late we've been so crazy busy today i didn't even get a chance to edit it all or anything so that's what I'm probably gonna do in just a minute after she wanders around and goes potty she's like I'm just sniffing things ew buggy just flew into me so yeah that's pretty much it um I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because we put out videos every Monday Wednesday Friday at five o'clock Pacific time unless we're moving in which case that gets all messed up yeah I know we're not gonna be moving for a while so don't worry about that so Anyway, we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye! Black and white, so we got this one. Pretty good representation of the wild, I think. And then, my favorite, this one.